What, you thought I had something better to do with my time? Hello everybody, it is I, Miss Ariel I. Talent. I can't host, but I can still judge. Now remember, my opinions mean absolutely nothing, so don't take them too seriously. It's not like I won the competition or anything. Anyway, welcome to my judgmental face and my judgmental blouse and my judgmental wig wall and my judgmental judgments. I'll be as nice as I can, but I'm not going to hold back if I didn't care for it. Remember, this is all intended to be constructive. I'm trying to help you be the best you can be. And I am amazed by everyone who auditions because this takes a lot of guts. It is hard to do. So, let's get started on ripping you to shreds. <laughs> Starting us off, L Sunday. I just binge watched most of season three in a single sitting, so I absolutely appreciate that you were both topical and relevant to the theme. That said, you aimed too high with this one. I need to know that you can kill one take, one performance, one video. By spreading yourself out over three characters but failing to differentiate between them, this kind of fell flat for me. Scale down your concept next week and just nail it with something simple, then get to the advanced stuff. Got it? Ms. Gloria Swan song. Well, this is a look, and I loved the look. The performance was solid, but I feel like you need to connect more with the lyrics. This is a song that is very sad in a lot of places, and your facial expression went from smirk at times to slightly dour at others, but I really want a connection to the lyric, a connection to the meaning when you're going to perform or just go all out camp if you're going to be covered in feathers and flowers. Either way, this was a little more sedate than I wanted from you, especially given that when I turned that video on and you BAM hit me with that face, I expected a lot. So really amp up your energy for next week, but I liked what you did. Luna Rocks. This was a solid offering for me. It was a good look. It connected to the lyrics, and those lyrics connected to the theme, and you connected to the song. I will say the emotion was a hair forced at times, so watch for that. You could be more genuine with some of it, especially if you're trying to convey that you're feeling anguish or pain. You don't want to come across too campy, or maybe you want to come across really campy. The stinger at the end with the extra black was nice. That could have come in a little sooner, but a surprise is never a bad thing, and I was surprised. So, good. Not great, but good. Daisy Mayhem. This was a bold choice, but I think that you had room to take this a lot further than you did. Amy Winehouse drunk on stage leaves you performance options to go wild, and making her kind of a sleepy drunk was not the strongest choice and didn't let us see how much performance ability you really have. That said, you had a lot of great mouth movements, the look was on point, the stinger at the beginning and end with the quotes, fine, but you're not lip syncing them, so... Eh. So, you did okay, but you had, with this song choice, an opportunity that I think that you missed. Edie-centric. I have a feeling I'm going to run out of compliments for you before this competition is over. Not because you're going to fuck up, but because you have the most expressive face. There's something about your ability to use every muscle in your body to make it seem like you are actually delivering the words that are being played over my speakers, even when it's Frank Zappa. You nailed the comedy in this. The dog was hilarious. You were hilarious. And even without all of the setting and the mustache and the, like, poop on your hands, if we took all that away, we would still have a rock-solid lip sync at the bottom of this, and that's what this competition is about for me. I like what you did, and I want to see more. You're fabulous. Pieri Cruz. I'm trying so hard to say your name like you say your name, and I'm sure that I'm not doing it right. I liked a lot of this video. Again, your energy is through the roof, and that is what sells everything for me. I can watch you all day because I know you're having fun. That means the world. 
Your technical stuff isn't great. The webcam quality is a little and eh, the lighting's not spectacular, the framing's not great, and those are things that could be cleaned up. Also, I don't know if the overlaid jokes were like the best jokes. Sometimes it doesn't even matter because again, I'm just so enthused by your contagious enthusiasm. So just keep being fabulous and fun and I don't know, you feel like my goofy best friend that I just want to watch on webcam all day. So, just do that. You're doing good, kiddo. Koga. I'm gonna say right off the bat that I was surprised by the choice of a female vocalist, but that could be my own bias. It doesn't necessarily affect the video. You really did deliver a character. You had this sort of long-haired rocker skeezball that I just understood, so you're really selling it in terms of performance. I would warn you that if you're gonna go for a bare-chested look, you do risk failing to hide your candy, as it were, so be very careful with things like shirt placement and contouring. That said, it was a strong video, and I think you did well. I liked this. More boys, though, next week. I, f I like the man vocal coming out of your man mouth. Personal preference. Calypso Overkill. This is a pretty effervescent number, so it requires a very bubbly performer. And you killed it. I love that you were expressive, excited, and thus exciting. I will say that it is tough to pull off repeated choreography in a video because you need to keep people interested. But other than that, I thought you were spectacular. And the choice to switch to the live French version at the end was also fantastic. Again, keeping people guessing, keeping people interested. So, I have very few bad things to say about this. I had a great time. The letter G. Sia is a really intense vocalist, but you matched that with your sync, so I'm proud of you for that. Also, every time she does an intake of breath, you inhale as well. That connects you to the song, connects you to us. It's a veracity thing, but it pays off, and I appreciate that kind of attention to detail. Similarly, you built yourself a costume, you had a reveal. All those little things add up to make a really good video, so you spent time on this, and that shows. I will say that once you actually did break free from bondage, you are less comfortable in your body language, so if you're gonna have a lot of downtime to just be standing there, you will need to figure out what you're going to do that makes us feel the power that the song conveys. Beyond that, this was a wonderful sync, and I really enjoyed it. You know, we don't all need to be doing big special effects. This is all homebrewed, but it is a good homebrew. Well done, baby. Mwah. Girls, what's my weakness? If you think the answer is half-naked men, you're right. But don't think that you can win me over with that body, sir. Last week you had a full character with your look. This week, it just sort of felt a little slapped on. I don't think that you were merging all the craziness all over you with the actual performance you were giving. So, A, I'm not into scat, but B, this didn't feel cohesive to me somehow. I think there was a missing ingredient, or maybe too many ingredients, but this could have been streamlined a lot more. Good sync, good performance, but it didn't all come together, so keep your shirt off, but put something else on. Holy shtick. I'm afraid you shot yourself in the foot with this song choice. It is mid-tempo, it is sad, it is repetitive, and you need to combat all that with your lip sync. So, though you gave us the emotion, it was mostly sitting in one place, there was not a lot of variance in your performance, and that dragged you down a bit. So even if you're going to be doing a slow song or a sad song, you need to find the variation so that we are interested as we keep going. This stayed the same, and I think that's going to hurt you this week. Billy Darling, your goddamn face. You are so sassy, you bring so much to every performance. Every word has like an uh, to it, and that is so refreshing. 
you overcome the technical elements of being on the floor of what appears to be a dank basement, and I do think eventually people are going to expect some lighting and background from you, but you barely even need it because you are just destroying it with your, like, fucking face! Ah, oh, face. Axel Knight, 0717. So, Mr. King of Versatility, here's the thing. You nail Diva Sass. This song doesn't call for Diva Sass. This is inner turmoil and darkness. And that's not what you gave me. So, if you're looking to prove yourself as versatile, I'm going to need to see a lot more range. Otherwise, if you want to stick around in this competition, I'm going to suggest you stick to Diva Sass. Victual. This was a good concept. I liked the black light, it caught my eye right away. But once the newness of the concept wore off, you didn't have a lot of grounding to stand on. We can't see your face, so the performance doesn't come through. We can't feel the emotion. There's a lot of repetition because all we can do is see you coming back and forth. So make sure that your concept doesn't limit you in terms of what you can give us. Next week, I would encourage you to be front and center in giving us as much face as you can, because we missed that this week. GG Spot. So listen, this was a solid sync from what I can see. You were honest with your emotion, and then the makeup coming off was a really good tie-in to the meaning of the song, so I appreciate all that. But details matter, darling. The overlay of the audio wasn't perfectly synced up to the actual mouth movements, so even though you probably gave a really tight sync, we couldn't necessarily tell that because of the misalignment. Also, getting your video in on time, right on time, is important. So that needs to happen next week. The end, my God, there are a lot of you. Joan, cut like four or five. I don't have time for this. Just kidding. Love you all, and I really am proud of everybody for contributing. This is the beginning of an extensive and exhausting journey, and the fact that you're putting yourself out there on the internet to be judged by idiots like me really speaks to your inner strength and confidence. So, well done, everybody. Stick around for next week when I'm going to be babbling more nonsense and you're going to be serving up more fierceness. Except for one of you, I guess. See everybody soon and carry on whoever's God. Mwah.